All right, the Steelers game sent me over the edge with the Kansas City Chiefs. I've come to the conclusion now there is hardly anything to like about this football team. Let me say this, Jamal Charles and Derek Johnson were terrific, but this is more about the way this football team represented themselves and our city on national TV in prime time. And by the way, one out of every three Kansas Cityans watched at least some of the game. 34% of the KC TV audience tuned in. The conduct and behavior we saw on the field is not acceptable. It falls under the category of disgraceful. These players became a bunch of showboating clowns who gave the impressions all this stuff was premeditated, it was choreographed, it was planned out for national TV. A team with one freaking win this season, folks, making fools of themselves for all to see. They had the Steelers on the ropes. They put Big Ben out of the game early in the third quarter. The win was right there. But no, we had to watch eight of these clowns do a dance in the end zone. The Chiefs got a personal foul, a celebration penalty on a non-touchdown for crying out loud. What a bunch of buffoons. Someone needs to go for this. They need to get out of here. Get them out of here. Remember, they cut Stanford route the other night for missing curfew before the Chargers game. This is the most undisciplined, unaccountable, and out of control bunch of renegades since the days of Andre Risen to Merrick Van Over and Bam Morris. It's sad to think the Chiefs played a competitive football game, but everything was overshadowed by the embarrassing conduct of a handful of players. Clark Hunt, where are you in the Fiji Islands? You need to come out of hiding. You need to assure the good football fans of this city that changes will result from this humiliating performance in Pittsburgh. That's Jack Smack.